Oh, that's hot. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Monday, uh, August something. Um, I slept well. I had a crazy dream, but I slept well. Um, and I just want to say a big thank you to Captain Lee, if he is watching, my sweet friend, Captain Lee, who shared the latest episode, hola, Kayla, um, who shared the latest episode of the Tell Me What To Do podcast. Um, I really appreciate anybody who takes the time to share um, my podcast. So thank you so much. If you share Coffee Talk or you share uh, the podcast um, or my book or something, I really appreciate that. I uh, have been up since 7 o'clock. And, uh, and uh, yeah, here I am early, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I need a shower. I'm going to sh go for a walk after this and then take a shower. Um, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Everybody slept well. Everybody feels good. Thank God. Um, really quick, um, I am praying for everybody whose children are going back to school today. May God bless them and keep them covered and give mommies and daddies uh, easement in their hearts and, their, and relieve their fears um, because I know everybody is very nervous. We are going back on the 19th uh, here in Alabama, some on the 20th. Um, and I know that everybody is so... Oh, Kayla! Kayla, I need the recipe for Sancocho. And you make good Sancocho. And little Jamie says her Sancocho is not good. So, Kayla, can we make, can you help me make Sancocho, please? Um, anyway, so, um, people writing in from Afghanistan, from Queensland, from... Ireland, from all of these places. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, Laura Cantor. Absolutely. I have prayed for the teachers, the administrators, the nurse, the nurses, the janitors, the um, school, the ground patrol people, the bus drivers, um, Everybody, the crosswalk people, everybody who works in schools, I am praying for you. I have been praying for you. Sorry I didn't say it. Uh, it sounded like I was only praying for the children. Uh, could you imagine if I was that person? No prayers for the teachers. Children only. Um, we are praying for you. We are keeping you covered. We are praying that all of the systems and implementations everybody is putting in place um, will work and everybody's children and teachers and administrators and everything will stay safe. Hello, Spain, Newcastle, Ontario. Gosh, we have people from all over this morning. How exciting. Um, okay. Um, Jim Moss, I can pray for you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
what is sancocho sancocho is a dominican like soup it's like a dominican soup um and it's delicious and i want to make it for my kids oh we love janitors are you kidding okay so uh it's like yeah it's like a dominican stew not like a stew because stew sounds thick sancocho is not thick not a good one it's like a soup but it has like a ton of good stuff kayla how would you describe sancocho um oh my gosh you're a principal you're amazing um, all right, so I want to talk to you guys about the people you surround yourself with. I have a friend who is, um, Captain Lee, if you're there, send me a wave. I don't see you. Um, I have a friend who every time she texts a, a group of our friends something, everybody like blows her up. You're amazing. This is amazing. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, Okay, she is amazing, but how come nobody ever, happy birthday, Paula, ever calls her out? Like, oh, hi, cat. Hi, cat. Let me see. Let me see if this works. Um, I think it is crucial that there is somebody in your circle who will call you on your bullshit. If you don't have anybody in your circle that calls you on your bullshit that says, no, you're wrong. Look how you're acting. Hi, Cap. I thought you were on Instagram. That's why I couldn't find you. I didn't realize you were on Facebook. Um, if you don't have that, you are doing yourself a disservice because if you have somebody in your circle that can call you on your bullshit that's how you can learn that's how you can grow that's how you can look at social social can't speak that is how you can look at social situations and go okay i didn't handle this properly you can't be afraid of having somebody in your circle that calls you out on your shit. You can't be surrounded by yes people. You see what happens to some of these uh, famous people when they're only surrounded by yes people and they fall off the deep end because everybody in the world is making them think that they're, they lean into the, um, okay, I got to block you because you're starting to creep me out. And when I feel creeped out, I'm creeped out. Um, Here's the thing. The thing is that when you are surrounded by yes people, you believe, you, you get an inflated sense of ego and you start to believe that you are incapable of being wrong, that every idea you have is great. This is not real life. That's not real. You, you can't surround yourself with yes people or you will become like one of those tragic stories of you know, people letting you believe you could run for president. Okay? And a lot of times, we don't want no people. We don't want the hold on, you were the one wrong here. Or hold on, that's actually a terrible decision. Right? Or hold on, there is nothing qualifying you to be president. This is not a good idea. Right? It is, uh, hey, Brooke on Instagram, um, I didn't answer him on purpose. So if I'm not answering him, I don't want anybody. It, it's a little creepy that someone keeps asking me where I'm located. It's not normal. Um, so look at your circle. Do you have people in your life who will call you out in a respectful way? Oh no, Brooke, you don't, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I was just letting you know why I didn't answer him. 
Um, do you have people in your life who will let you know? Do you have people in your life who will say, listen, I'm just letting you know, this isn't a good idea. Or I heard you tell the story about what happened with you and so-and-so, and you're actually wrong. You may want to apologize. Like, you got to have somebody in your life who can let you know when you've stepped out of place or stepped out of line or when you're making bad decisions or whatever. And if you have that person and they're not watching this video, tag them right now. I'll say their name. I want to know. Right, Kayla? You have to have somebody. Your friend's autopsy came back this morning, accidental drowning. Yeah. Your hubby, good. Um, right, do not surround yourself with yes people. Absolutely not. Fine, you want people to hold you accountable because you will be a better person for it. You will be, it doesn't mean they'll always listen, Janine. It does not mean they will always listen. Sometimes you call people out or you respectfully say, Margaret Jane Dodson, um, you say, you, you know, you let them know and they still do what they want anyway. Okay, that's fine. Because, but that's perfectly fine. But at least you let them know. At least you warn them. At least you check them a little bit. And I don't mean check them like, you know, embarrass them or shame them. I just mean you let them know. You warn them. You had an honest conversation. You know, that's a lot of times what Michael does for me. He says it in a really respectful way, but he'll say like, don't you think maybe you're making a bigger deal out of X than you need to? Don't you think maybe the way you reacted was a little over the top? You should probably circle back. And I'm like, oh, excellent point. Well, Kimberly Lee, if it's every phone call, you may have to do a reevaluation on the friendship, right? I mean, you shouldn't have to check somebody every phone call. You shouldn't have to call someone out every single time you talk to them. That's a little extreme, you know? But I'm good, Festus. Thank you for asking. Um, what if someone calls you out and it's a lie? then you just say, that's not my truth. I appreciate you looking out for me, but that's not my truth. You know, that's okay. Um, I like very much when people let me know that I am not doing the right thing. I appreciate being called out. I'm not afraid of it. It makes me better, truly. So I love you too, Festus. So I really, um, yeah, it shouldn't feel like a job. It shouldn't feel like a job. You, you shouldn't, it shouldn't feel like you're going to work to call people out or check people or whatever. I'm just saying there should be somebody that you can take constructive criticism from in your circle. There should be somebody that pushes you to be better, to own your shit. Somebody who doesn't let it slide in a respectful way that makes your friendship stronger. Constructive criticism. Listen, taking constructive criticism is growth. You have to be able to have someone say you didn't handle the situation right and look back and go, you're right, I didn't. I mean, I was told a long time ago, you always feel like you need to tell your side of the story. You always tell one-sided stories and you're such a good storyteller that people believe your version. I had to look at that, 
criticism and realize what I needed to start to do is say, it's not my story to tell. Because otherwise, I'm just telling a one-sided story and you guys are only hearing my version and you want to, you love me, so you want to take my side. I had to stop doing that. And it was hard for me to hear because I felt my side was the right side if I'm being 100. But I understand how me telling my side of the story and only offering one side is not fair to people who don't know the whole story. You can't just be, sometimes the motive behind calling, the person calling you out is not always pure, makes a difference. I know I'm cynical. Cap, you're absolutely right. Sometimes people call you out just because they don't want you to shine. They don't like, they don't like the way other people love you. That is absolutely true. And people who are on reality shows, we know that even more than most people because we are exposed to people who think they're seeing our reality. And even though it is reality, it's still produced, it's still controlled. And they want to call us out on things that they're seeing that were choreographed. And they, you know, it all feels contrived. And by the way, uh, all right, I have to block you. Look, I just need to tell you, if you say, if you come on just to say ugly shit and describe it as a, and disguise it as a compliment, I'm going to block you. Block, block, blockity, block, block. Um... So, anyway, um, yes, sometimes people can do it for the wrong reasons, but I, I trust your discernment. I think you know who is good in your life, and you should have somebody in your life that can keep it 100 with you and call you out. That's all I'm saying. There should be somebody in your life who can say, you're wrong. If you don't have anyone in your life who can tell you you're wrong, you need, you got to reassess your friend circle. Um, all right. I love you. It's Monday. I hope and pray for a great week, a healthy week. I hope God keeps you covered, safe, protected. Um, tomorrow is my friend's son's funeral. Um, Michael and I are going to go together. Um, I'm going to ask that God covers her and uh, her entire family and everybody attending the funeral, that everybody stays safe and we're going to get through this one breath at a time. And um, I'm going to go for a walk and then I'm going to take a shower. I love you all very much. I hope you have a beautiful day. Have a great, great day.